Welcome back everybody. We should have a quick and fun video for you here today. We got this at the Big Daddy Unlimited shoot well, last month, two months ago, but it is from Premier Body Armor. I believe it's level two and it is a koozie. Now we're gonna see if it can protect the beloved White Claw. So without further ado, let's get on with it. First load up is gonna be some 125 grain 38 special through the 340. Now I'm up at about 10 feet. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna hit it. I have never printed this load in this gun. That's my excuse plus my chopped up finger, but we'll see. I got two if not. Well, <laughs> gonna have to figure out what happened there. Let's check out the video. As it turns out, I didn't need my excuse. I actually basically center punched it right there and uh, the bullet is in there, still retained. I'm sure I could probably pull it out if I had a knife. And uh, the white claw was just busted just by kinetic energy. So uh, I'm not sure offhand what, well, oh, there it is. There's the bullet, you guys can see it right there. So it stopped it just fine, no pass through at all. Let's step it up. So we moved everything back because the cameras got drenched last time and we have a more powerful round. We have some 165 grain Federal 40 coming out of this eight inch CMMG Banshee barrel. And uh, we'll see what it can do. Still got wet. <laughs> Let's check it out. I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought that was going to stop it and it didn't. This is the end result here. And uh, we had our impact right there and it went right on through. Exit hole there on the back. You guys can see there is not much armor in there. That's not a lot at all. So again, level two, I think is what it is. So I'm not sure what it's rated at for the 40 Smith & Wesson, but it's going fast. And again, that was a 165 grade bullet as well. And it did go through. There's some tearing though on the back. So it definitely was trying to stop it, but it was a futile effort uh, for sure. So that's kind of a quick video, I think. We ended it kind of quick. Uh, we always kill armor here for anybody new, um, but I just didn't expect it to be that fast. I kind of want to try it now with nine millimeter out of a pistol just to see. Let's do that. I finally looked up what this thing should stop and it should stop the nine millimeter coming, especially out of this piece 365 barrel. We have some 115 grain Minuteman stuff and we'll see. <laughs> Glad to see. At this point, you guys have actually seen the slow motion war as I haven't. That said, this is our can. Obviously we ran out of White Claw because I don't actually buy White Claw. I just had some sitting around waiting for Brandon Herrera to come over. But anyway, uh, this is the can. Do you think it went through? Well, it didn't and it came really close. So it stretched it out there as you can see, but the bullet is in there. I could feel it and I could probably pull it out of the layers actually now that I think about it. But yeah, again, 115 grain minute man, so it's going fast, speeds what defeats armor, generally speaking as well as bullet construction. But I don't know if I can get it out. Regardless though, it did stop the level that it was rated to. Again, it's rated to stop 40, but probably not 165 grain and probably not coming out of that long barrel. Uh, again, velocity there is kind of king. I don't think I can get it, but trust me, you see that bulge right there? That's the bullet. Anyway, again, fun little video. Killed it faster than I thought I would, but I wanted to give it another shot, see if it could live up to its rating, and it did. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you're not subscribed, you like this type of video. We do lots of armor tests here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the notification and like button. Regardless of your subscription status, I thank all of you for watching the video and look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.